White Pocket is a place near Page, a small town on the Utah-Arizona border. It is filled with mind-blowing rock formations. There are two routes to White Pocket from Page, the northern and the southern ones. Both of them are pretty much equal by travel time, but I have the impression that most people go by the northern, northern route. If you select the southern one, you will have a chance to see some other cool places like Antelope Pass, where the earth suddenly drops thousand feet, opening an endless view of a plateau that lies below. You will also cross the Colorado River and will see the double Navajo Bridge, one for cars and one for pedestrians. No matter which route you choose, don't use Google Maps directions for turning off the House Rock Road. Just go to the place called Old Corral. It is easy to identify by the unique key, interse key intersection with a triangle island and an abandoned corral standing on the east side of the road. From there you will see the road sign advising to travel in four-wheel drive vehicles. Some roads are clearly marked as not the route to white pocket so you probably won't get lost <laughs> probably we went there in august during the monsoon season every day we saw rain clouds in the area house rock road is a well-maintained road and you don't really need four wheel drive for it however there is one sketchy place called buckskin wash after rain, it may be flooded with mud or running water. You have to cross Buckskin Wash only if you travel the northern route. Another reason to take the southern one during the rainy season. Buckskin Wash aside, ah, the rest of the House Rock Road is flat and relatively well maintained. After getting off the House Rock Road, the path gets very sandy and there you will need a high clearance four-wheel drive. You can find YouTube videos of SUVs with regular road tires stuck in the deep sand. It is recommended to air down and use four-wheel drive there. Just keep in mind that on your way back you will have to air back up. So if you are in a rental, make sure that you have a compressor. We got to White Pocket after dark and found a scorpion right by the place where we decided to camp out for the night. Scorpions glow in the black light and we had some fun chasing them around in the dark. We were not concerned much about scorpions because we rented a jeep with a rooftop tent. We got it from a company called Jeep B&B in Page. They also provide detailed maps of the area, satellite tracking in case of emergency, and their jeeps are equipped with off-road tires and compressor. We highly recommend this company. I would break White Pocket into four distinct areas. There are no official names, so I call them like Broken Hill, Second Row, the Third Row, and the Pine Tree. Broken Hill is the first thing you see when you walk into White Pocket. This area is BLM land, and drones are still allowed there. I have a gut feeling that. It will not last, and soon it will be yet another wilderness, no drone zone with closed airspace.
short walk through the flat valley leads to the second row. On the northern end of this row you will find another hill that became an iconic image of White Pocket. As you walk past that hill you get to the third and the last row. This row drops into the desert and White Pocket ends as suddenly as it starts. On our way back to the parking lot we stopped by the area covered with sugary white hills that look like cauliflower heads. This area is the home of a lonely pine tree. When we drove back we took the northern route and crossed Buckskin Wash which by that time turned into a tame muddy creek. <laughs> 